this is Mariana and welcome to my tutorial for a faux taxidermy butterfly wall. You first need shadow box frames, photo paper, photos of butterflies, cardstock, quick dry glue, and frame hanging hardware. I started with digital photos that I had taken at the Museum of Natural History in New York, but you can always Google for your own photos or take some in your backyard. So I print that on good photo card stock and then I cut each butterfly out and you take your frames out of the package and you can create a rough layout of how you want to hang your frames. Um, definitely need to do that for this really odd shaped triangle wall that I was working with. Use as many colors as you want in cardstock or just one favorite color if you'd like. And then you remove the backing of your shadow box and trace around it on your colored cardstock. And then you just cut it out. And that will be the base or back of your shadow box. I like using different colors because it gives more depth, but depends on what your wall looks like. Now you take your cutout butterflies, you fold them back on either side of the body, and this creates a three-dimensional effect, and also creates a spine for you to apply your quick dry glue on. And this makes it easier to attach to the back of your shadow box. Don't put too much glue, otherwise it'll all squish out when you when we'll put it down on the paper. Kind of get it into the center if you're only using one butterfly, but if you're using multiple butterflies, create your own layout. Then you just replace the shadow box frame on top of your butterfly. And then secure it with little tabs in the back. And now you're ready to hang. So here's a little collection I made. Um, you can take the papers you discarded from the back of your frame packaging and use that to create your wall layout. And then there you have it. After you hang all your pieces together, you have a beautiful wall art collage. Well, thank you for watching my tutorial. Subscribe for more DIYs or visit us at Wicked Finch Farm.